Impact Fitness, Warner Robins, Georgia. Hope you guys had a great weekend, and a lot of you came in and did our, our cardio mayhem class, and I uh, think you guys enjoyed it. If you want to come to this session, it's on Saturday at 9.30, every Saturday morning. It's a kick-butt cardio session you can do, body weight only. We can modify it to anybody's fitness levels. Not, we try to keep the jumping and running to a minimum, and we can have it age group of 10 and up can come to this session and if they're not a member that's fine you can just drop in and pay ten dollars a session for this cardio mayhem every Saturday morning at 9 30 okay uh, all right mindset principle for this week I want to talk to you about something simple you can do to increase your uh, sleep patterns which are going to help your uh, melatonin production which are going to also increase your serotonin levels which is the feel-good hormone and also regulate your metabolism so that you can burn more body fat and keep more lean muscle on your body. Very simple thing, you might not be realizing it, what you're doing to uh, hinder your progress in this area. And one of them is uh, artificial light, okay? In the daytime, we need to be getting as much natural light as possible. At nighttime, we need to be reducing our artificial light coming from the TV, the overhead uh, fluorescent lighting or whatever lighting you have that's artificial, it's causing you to reduce your melatonin production when you have all that artificial light going on. And the good rule of thumb for this is about two to three hours before you go to bed, I know it's hard, you need to turn the TV off, you need to turn the computer off and not have any of those light emitting objects uh, causing you to not produce the melatonin. Um, and then you can also dim your lights or put candles on, whatever you need to do. It's also going to help you relax and get into a better sleep than just shutting the TV off and trying to go to sleep. Uh, but the main thing is you're going to produce more melatonin. You're going to produce more growth hormone, which is going to repair your tissue and give you the body and the energy level and also your immune system, your moods, everything that you want to improve through fitness and exercise. It's going to be very hard to do if you're not getting uh, proper melatonin production and sleep patterns going on, okay? So a good rule of thumb is somewhere around 8, 9 o'clock, you need to turn off those, uh, all those lights and dim everything and get in that re relaxation mode at least two to three hours before you go to bed. Um, another trick I learned is I, I used to do this. I used to black it out my room so that I would have to sleep in a very dark room. But I'd get up in the middle of the night when I was thirsty and I'd open up the refrigerator and I'd get blasted with all those light, right? And then I uh, would shut down my melatonin production for four hours. Anytime you get blasted with that light, you're gonna shut down your melatonin for four hours afterwards. That's why you need to reduce all this artificial light about four hours before you decide to go to bed. So that as soon as you go to bed, you can get right into that deep, deeper sleep, start producing that melatonin, and then you're gonna wake up more refreshed, ener energized, ready to go, ready to take on the day. You're going to recover from these, uh, exercise, this exercise that you're doing here a lot better. So really think about that. Take that to heart. I hope you guys try that and see the improvements that you'll make with your fitness level and your overall health by reducing all this artificial light, especially at night. Okay? Come on in with a great attitude. we got a really good one this week for you. All right, first station. It's a little modified burpee on the step. Kind of saves your back. Do a little hop on the step. At the top, now Elena's showing you how you can do it if you're not ready to hop up on that step. You can just step up on the step. That's the modification, okay? These are going to be minute intervals, y'all, but halfway through the 30-second point, when you hear the siren, you can just go to step-ups. Just step it up, step it up, step it up. Or you can keep doing burpees like Elena or whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you keep moving for the whole minute to try to do burpees as long as you can. All right, second station. You're going to use the good old plank ups, good planks. Great for your triceps, core involved. And you can switch which arm you're using to start the plank up every other time if you want to. And then 30 seconds in on this one, you're going to stay in a high plank. There you go. It's called just little feet jacks, keeping that core tight, not letting your body sway. Just rep these out. Okay, on the core trainer, you're going to have one person on the core trainer with both core trainers. You notice how she's just squatting it out, pushing through her heels, basically doing a good squat with both core trainers. And then the other person, Elena here, is doing the 
Uh, low jacks, reaching for that ankle, keeping those legs almost straight. And then halfway through at the 30-second point, she's going to go to high knees. And then the person on the core trainer is just going to keep repping out those squats. All right, on the wall of life. <laughs> You're going to do in and out squats on the balls of your feet, a little soft landing, using your arms to help you a little bit. This is pretty intense, so about 30 seconds in, you're going to go to just feet close together and just rep out the squats so you can finish it off. Now, if you can stay in it the other way, the hard way, go ahead. But if you need to, you're going to have a go-to move so you can finish this off without stopping for the last 30 seconds, okay? On the bag, you're going to take turns with your partner kicking the crap out of the bag. So you can't let your partner down. As soon as she kicks, you got to kick or he. You can kick the crap out of it. It's not going to go anywhere. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right. You're in a plank, but it's a funky, awkward, modified plank. You've got one forearm on the ground, and then the other hand is in the push-up position, but notice the shoulders are straight, meaning you have to bend that arm so you stay in line with the other shoulder. Okay, core tight as always. Good straight line with your body position. Halfway through, you'll switch sides. And again, notice our shoulders. They're squared off, okay? Put, push your shoulder up on the hand. That, that, that's what you don't want. You want to be locked in, and you got to just hold it, and it's going to work your core in new ways. Modification, Holly's going to show you. If you do go to the modification and go to your knees, look where her hips are. Her hips are low. Do not do it like this. That's not doing anything. No booties in the air. You still got to keep a straight line from your shoulder to your knee if you go to your knees, okay?